I have the degree in psychology, and I'm doing a science communications degree now, and I'm hoping to parlay the two into a degree in public health. And so it's applying epidemiology and um, public health practices to either developing countries like Haiti or in struggling communities in Canada. A lot of people look at science as this giant monolith. You don't need to be a quote-unquote scientist to be able to apply the principles of science to your everyday life. It's just a matter of, of predicting outcomes and then testing them. Once people understand that better, we'll, I personally think we'll have a much more equal society in a lot of ways. Everything that's said in a medical journal, in an academic journal, can be said in plain English. Education as a system works. It teaches you how to engage with, with material and with information in specific fields. But there's no reason why you can't work in the opposite direction and make the material work for individuals. I think the interest is there. And once you make it understandable, you'll see that the interest has always been there. Even beneficial data and information that comes out can be misinterpreted if you don't know how to engage the information. And the easiest way to prevent that from happening is to improve our communications. I use H1N1 as an example. The virus broke out and the, the vaccinations were proposed as a solution. There was a lot of confusion. Who needed to get the shots, when to get the shots, where to get the shots, and why to get the shots. There's fear, and there was panic, and there was mistrust, and there really didn't need to be any of those things. In my opinion, a classic breakdown of communications. I went to Haiti in October of 2011, and we helped build a school in a community that was on a really big hill. The Mount provided the infrastructure for me to be able to go by giving me an avenue through which to fundraise. One of the main reasons I wanted to go was because I've spent, I'd, at that point, I'd spent five years with book learning and education and understanding a lot of the problems that the world experiences right now, but I hadn't really got a physical, an actual real life example. And so this was my personal chance to, to physically experience all the things I'd learned academically. I've always believed that the Mount punches well outside its weight class. I find it's a culture of, of I, I said, I've said this before, it's a culture of why not instead of why. I firmly believe that everything that happens here is exceptional and that things that happen here wouldn't necessarily happen anywhere else.